go for every building ground to if you just start in the gate, getting yep. saved, yep. don't get clickish, mm -hmm. and live right according to the accurate word of yeah. God, not by tradition. I'm laughing because they said something about somebody, they talk about Jesus and, 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 and then a couple of sentences, they, the, the, what they call the thought language now, which is just plain good old fashioned <coughs> cussing and swearing, mm. all them street words, mm -hmm. but it's a thought language, they call it the devil is a liar, mm -hmm. but um, we, we, regardless whether we carry a title or not, we have to live right, exactly. and about our title or, 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 or our calling, uh, uh, the, our first duty is to live right and keep our relationship with God regardless of our calling and title. What's the scripture you read? Take it up. And I remember something you just said. You didn't bow down to any other gods and idols. And the spirit of the Lord began to do when you said, remember Shadrach and Shadrach and Abednego? Yes. They did not bow down to any idols, but they did not fear it, and God delivered them. God will defend you when you live in God. Be not to worship any other gods or any other idols. That's part of the commandments. Mm -hmm. I believe that's found in Exodus chapter 20, verses 10 to 21. Mm -hmm. um, um, the Ten Commandments? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, chapter 10, starting around verse 1. Yep. Uh, 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 down. We're not to bow down to any other idols or any other gods. Mm -hmm. You have to know what is going on in your surroundings. And we're like priests. Yeah. We're like priests. Yeah. If we take it on the form of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. we're like priests. Yes. We're called. We're called. We're going to be crucified. We're going to suffer. And we're going to be tested. And people won't laugh at us and mock us. Oh, yeah. They're going to come, oh, you was you a what now? Mm-hmm. One girl laughed at you before. Oh, you a prophet now? Mm-hmm. And laughed. And that same girl is now suffering right now. Mm -hmm. You better be careful who you put your mouth on. Mm -hmm. And she's struggling. She's struggling. Same. Struggling. I ain't never seen nobody struggle as hard as she is. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to Hebrews chapter 7, verse 28. For the law maketh men high priests. Back in the Old Testament, there were a lot of priests, mm -hmm. the biblical priests, which have infirmity. But the word of the oath, which was or was since the law, make it the son who is now consecrated for everyone. Mm -hmm. Priests. Still dealing with the priests. The priest, the anointed. And I remember somebody preaching, I think you probably heard the sermon of Brother Rochelle, and she preached some years ago to um, our friend Iona Locke. Yes. Preach the message, go show yourself to the priest. Mm -hmm. They said when that servant was on the pastors and bishops, was on that floor repenting. Sometimes your anointing can make you reverence mm -hmm. the Lord. Mm -hmm. Go show yourself to the priest. Back in the Old Testament, a priest had a high regard, a high office. Mm -hmm. Not this priest, what we call in this day. Mm -hmm. Every time you turn around and I'm not bashing the Catholics, mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not into bashing, mm -hmm. we don't do that. Mm -hmm. We pray for you. That's right. You still have a soul and you still need to be saved. And we still got that same stuff in there. That what's in their house is in every religious house. In every, and when I say religious house, I'm talking about denomination. In that. Yeah. Not so in every, every place of worship, but it's in the different denominations. Only thing is, theirs was so bad, it hit the fan, as people say, and got really a smoke, was still being smoke. But I done heard the horror stories from people from different denominations since I was merchant up in them while I am, and they was just stupid with going to places, houses of worship because of sexual assault. Exactly. Men and women, mm -hmm. when they were young. Yeah. And, and, and they, they turned out that, and to a certain degree, they turned off to God because they couldn't understand why uh, uh, the preacher, the senior preacher, mm -hmm. or, or one of his ministers, licensed folks, sexually assaulted them when they were young. So they turned off. I remember a well-known singer, yeah, I probably remember this years ago, and this is, it may he rest in peace. 
Sylvester, the singer. You guys remember Sylvester, the singer? You remember him? Army, you remember him? Oh, here in Buffalo. No, 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 California. A preacher got a hold of him. Wow. Okay. And messed his life up. Messed his life up. I hope you ain't the one I'm thinking about that preacher. Now, an army singer years ago. And they moved him out the church and let the preacher stay. Yeah, because he, 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 drew, he, drew, he, drew, he drew people. He drew, he drew people. That's that man's life. What, what they were supposed to do, even here in the city, I'm not going to call their name, but a person lets their child go and the child gets it. But some folks had an inkling. They said, maybe you better pray a little bit more for you, even though the young man was late teens. I guess maybe 18, 17, 18, in, in that age, late teens. And pray because they had a funny feeling. Maybe you told the parents we need to pray a little bit more about this. Mm -hmm. Kind of funny feeling. The man sexually assaulted the young man. The young man eventually died. I don't know what he died from. So I'm not, but the thing, when I seen the young man before he passed, uh, a couple of years before he passed, I looked at him and Oh, Jesus. What happened? That ain't, because I watched the young man grow up. What happened? When did he come like that? That's, that's, what that's, happened. that's, that's the man. It was an, an opportunity, but the man who's supposed to be taking on his wing and leave stuff. Yeah, to the man. Yeah. Yeah. Some people take, a, take your kindness for you. Yeah. When we're still, still talking about holy living. But those immoralities are born with in every organization. Yes. You'd be shocked of where that comes from. Yes. Molestation is not a big thing now. Mm -hmm. Now they're trying to make pedophilia a lot. Which we knew they were going back from that. That is okay. So it was the days of Noah, so shall it be in the last days. But you keep your priestly garments on. Yes. yes. Watch you call your house, watch you come in your house. I'd like to ask a question. Could you explain, if you have not already explained, um, the main job of a priest? The main job of a priest, mm -hmm. for, for what I understand, my understanding is really the God fearing. Right. That he's cool. one who gets in, who stays in the courts mm -hmm. of a holy God. Mm -hmm. And God gives him answers mm -hmm. to certain questions. On a biblical base, mm -hmm. with no compromise, he lives a God fearing life. Now, if you got something different, go ahead and see it. <laughs> yeah. I, the, I answer I, the, the, the answer I was looking for <laughs> is that we're all called to be priests. He said that. And, 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 and the answer I was looking for as priests, you got to be a praying person. And, and, and uh, uh, Prophet Newman always mentioned uh, about praying. But nobody with or without a title is excused from praying. We ain't talking about you got to do an hour all the time. That's good. But take some time uh, before you start. Try to take some time before you start your day and pray. Thank God for waking you up and praying. That's in God your steps throughout the day. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, also, at in the night, try to. Take a little time. You don't have to be long, a couple minutes. But thank you for taking me through the day. And that you're grateful and that you'll have a restful, peaceful night's sleep. Uh, and, but it's it also good, as I was taught, it, it's good sometimes just get there and just cry out. Mm -hmm. Shut everything down like Elvin Newman says. Mm -hmm. No doings, no following, nothing. And just cry out before the Lord. If, if you crying, it's not, that's fine. And keep your prayers uh, not where all your neighbors can hear because we live in where we got close neighbors uh, in developments. There's nothing that gives us what you ask and die to cleanse you from and keep you from. But but cry out uh, uh, unto God to be, stay clean and pure before Him, number one, and then before the believer and the unbeliever. 
because you need a good rep or tape, not just a, a good, but they only know you mainly by what they see. They only God knows our heart, but we need to have a good, what we call reputation among the believer and unbeliever life. They need to know we're honest and integral and all of that. And we had just mentioned that in Hebrews chapter 5, uh, verses 6 yeah. through 11 yeah. about the prize of Melchizedek, yeah. and that was part of the priesthood. So she just came in as a prophet, and we yeah. confirmed everything. And we just, we just said that. And you do have to have a prayerful life, and you do have to live God fearing. And 